Hey, YouTube. What's up? Spooker HD here with another tips and tricks video all about Path of Exile. So I just wanted to go over a bunch of websites and tools that you can use to help you along your way through the world of Rayclast. So we're going to start with the very first and main website most of you already know, some of you may not, but the first website is the base Path of Exile trade website, which all you need to get involved with the trade website for selling is one premium stash tab, which costs 15 coin in game, which amounts to a dollar and 50 cents USD. With that, you just go here, you type in the item you're looking or punch in the information of the item you're looking for or the stat filters you want on it. Very simple. If you need help, there's plenty of videos out there to go far in depth on how to search for what you're looking for. But I just want to make you guys aware of all the tools that are out there. So first one, Path of Exile main trade website. The second tool that a lot of people know about as well is filter blade filter blade is a excellent excellent way to create your own filter based on the base never sync filters to make it exactly the way you want it to be tired of seeing all this extra loot that you're never going to pick up why have it come right here utilize it remove that filter. We're going to be doing another video more in depth on specifically filter blade and how to use it. And we'll get that one out to you as soon as possible. Very, very, very strong tool here. So that you can see the loot that you want to see. And that way you're not cluttering up your whole dang screen with all this loot that you don't want to pick up, right? You should see the loot that you want to pick up. Awesome. Hint, hint, Diablo. Third tool I want you all to know about is a very extremely useful tool allowed in your vendors and your stash and other parts of the game is POE Regex. Regex allows you to use shorthand descriptions to search for specific modifiers, types of items, um, different names to, to just bear down very specific things as to what you're searching for. For example, you can do maps so that you can pick out which map mods you don't want on your map or which map mods you do want on your maps. As far down into the T17 modifiers and even the T16.5 memory modifiers on your maps. But you can also do map names um, and there's a, a, a big old list right over here of the different things you can use your poe regex now if you guys have any questions about any of these websites or any of these tools just let me know in the comments and we can make a specific video about an individual tool the fourth tool i want to go over with you guys is called wealthyexile.com and what it does is it basically calculates all the value in your stash in currencies to give you an estimated value of how much money you have sitting in your stash. Now, I don't think it includes items or anything like that because those can be very hard to price, but your general basic stuff that have a basic general price, like your currencies, your fragments, your different league mechanics and stuff like that, that will allow you to get a general idea of if you sell or liquidate your stuff, how much money you could have to purchase your next big item. Now, this fifth tool is new to me. Not saying it's new and hasn't been there, but the website is called poesnipe.com. And what it does is during a league start, or a new league, you can join in here, click the get started, right? And you can follow along your streamer that you want to watch or enjoy their content and you want to follow their particular build 
but their POB doesn't have special step-by-step instructions as to what to change, when to change it, or why to change it. Now, the why is, you know, because it probably works better. This isn't going to give you that why, but what it will do is it will give you a step-by-step instruction. I've been following Jung Run for the um, gauntlet, uh, and what I did was I just pulled up his POB, and I didn't follow it step-by-step. Now, you can follow it either by levels as they level through the progression of the league or each snapshot that they get through the league. Now, I don't know exactly what determines when it takes a snapshot of the of, of the changes and what it does, but for me, I've just been following along by levels because then you know you have about the same skill points for the skill tree and you know when you should relatively be changing your gear, but it takes a snapshot as they're leveling in real time for all the different levels that they go through all the way to the end. Now, if you don't want to do levels and you want to see every piece of gear that they change each step along the way, you can do the snapshots, which shows you, boom, the first thing he does is he installs, you know, a buckler with movement speed, two iron rings, some wool gloves, rustic stash, and rawhide boots to get him started for the gauntlet number six on the tools list is poe ninja and it's a great website that's very similar to poe snipe but it doesn't have the step by step to the end it just has the end or wherever they have the pob set for so in poe ninja you go to the website you log in you can allow it you can authorize it to you to see your characters so that your characters can be on poe ninja as well and people you can share your pobs much easier also Um, Or you can just go to specific builds and find a particular skill. For example, we'll just say we're running a Deadeye and we want to find the skill Tornado Shot. And we want to find what, what are other people doing to boost their damage. So we'll click here on DPS to get it sorted by damage. And we'll see what these guys are doing to take their build to the next level. Number seven on the list is POE Lab. And this website, you know it, you guessed it, helps you run your labyrinths much better, faster, and more efficient. What this does is it gives you layouts and it gives you guides to where things are and the puzzle solver. Everything about the POE labyrinths that you need to know for your ascendancies, or if you're just farming the lab for, you know, your quality for your gems. Or maybe you're looking for a transfigured gem. Who knows? Whatever it is, this tool will help you get it done faster. Number eight on the list is the poewiki.net. You guessed it, the wiki for Path of Exile. What is it? It's the Path of Exile wiki hosted by GGG, offering accurate and up-to-date information on items, mechanics, and more, right? So what you can do here is you can get detailed information on everything and anything in the game, whether it comes to guides on items, gems, mechanics, vendor recipe lists for crafting or currency farming, or even the searchable database for mods, uniques. And, and, and a ton more, just a crazy amount of information in a wiki website that's hosted by GGG. Number nine on the list is PoE DB, which is a, another comprehensive database for PoE items, skills, passives, and additional tools like crafting simulators, which is great, by the way. Um, it's, it's basically another searchable database for items, mods, mechanics, and, you know, it has crafting and mod pool information, and it's updated for each league. So it's another um, comprehensive database that's an alternative or a complement to the main PoE wiki. 
Number 10 on the list is your PoE Jewel calculator. Now, it's a timeless Jewel calculator that allows you to get the same mod from a timeless Jewel as the one you're searching so that you know which number range or which number you need for a particular Jewel. I'm not going to dive into this. Those of you that know, know. Those of you that don't, we can get into this topic in another video. But for this video, we're just going to leave it here with these different timeless jewels where you can punch in the, 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 the timeless jewel and the type of timeless jewel it is and which passive skill you're looking to get. And it will give you the numbers that will give you the passive change in the passive tree. Number 11 on the list is craftofexile.com. Now what Craft of Exile does for you is it allows you to import an item. You can take the base item, you can punch in the stats, the mods, and all the stuff that you want to get on that item, and it's going to give you a variety of ways to craft it, or you can choose the particular way that you want to craft it, and it will tell you the best way to go about it, the most effective way to go about it, or the most efficient way to go about it. And it also allows you to just simulate crafting. That way you don't actually have to use your own currencies to kind of learn how to go step by step. An amazing crafting tool for those of you that want to learn how to craft properly without spending thousands of divines. Tool number 12. Okay. Tool number 12 is Path of Building. Path of Building is an excellent tool that allows you to map out your passive points, your skills, your items, and even a configuration of your enemies and your stuff going on in your build to allow you to see exactly how your character is built and set up in the end game, in the beginning game. In the middle game doesn't matter now what this tool does also allow you to do is it allows you to create a copy of your path of building character and share it or import somebody else's path of building character now depending upon the creator of the path of building character uh, there may be several levels of in-depth information in there as far as like multiple trees here you can have multiple trees saved so that like level 1 through 12 level 12 through 24 and so on and so forth or a different variety of setups of skills along your journey as well same with your items also and last but most definitely not least if not the most popular and one of the most used tools of path of exile is awakened poe trade now this is an in-game overlay program that allows you to price check stuff on the fly now what you can do is is the default price check button is control d while hovering over your item and it will give you a bunch of different options and things that you can do it also has some different tools as to where you can save things in game as a widget basically inside your game as an overlay um but mainly the most common use of this tool is as a price checker so instead of having to go directly to the website you can pull up a specific item allows you to take the general mods on the item choose which mods you want to price check against and the base obviously and it will do an automatic search on the poe trade site to find out the general prices of whatever item your price checking is for the mods that you have checked and what makes this tool so valuable is it allows you to price check without having to leave the game completely and it's a quick overlay so you can do it while playing the game instead of having to go all the way over to the trade website type up what you're searching for on the trade site and then type in all the modifiers and affixes and everything that that item has it does it all for you so with that folks all of these tools and their links will be posted in the description below. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Leave a like, comment, and share. No, don't do that. I'm just kidding. I'm just here to inform you guys. So if you guys do have any questions, though, 
throw it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. And if you guys would like a particular video on any one of these specific tools, let me know and I'll get that out for you. We'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.